Hi everybody, it's Chris Silva. Thanks for joining me. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a new tool in Adobe After Effects CC 2019. It's called the Roto Brush, and it allows you to separate subject matter from the background of your video clip, just like you would with green screen footage. It's really cool. Adobe After Effects CC 2019 has a cool tool in it now called the Roto Brush. And the Roto Brush allows you to create the rotoscoping effect, uh, which is basically separating uh, subject matter from the background footage of your video clip much like you would do with green screen footage only using normal footage and uh, rotoscoping previously up until the roto brush tool here which is in your uh, tool panel up here at the top the little man next to the brush uh, has been considered a really painstaking time consuming process well the roto brush tool makes things a lot easier so I'm going to start out by importing some footage I've got this uh, put this on our timeline short clip of a man who's going to transition into a smile and we want to cut him out okay separate him from the background footage so we can use him with some different background footages and we're going to do that using the roto brush tool now the only way you can apply the roto brush tool is in the layer edit window so I'm going to select my layer down here double click there I'm in the layer edit window now I'll grab my roto brush tool and you'll see there's a green circle with a plus sign in it when you're using the roto brush tool you just want to start painting over your selection with the tool. You're going to see it's going to start grabbing the selection and creating these pink lines around the selection. So we'll go ahead and try to get as much of him as we can. Um, it works a lot like the quick select tool, quick selection tool in Photoshop, only we're working with many, many images here instead of just one image. And if you press the control button, and click and hold you can kind of just slide up and down and change the size of your roto brush tool so we can get the smaller uh, ear part here now when you press the alt key while using the roto brush tool it changes from a circle green circle and plus sign to a red circle with a negative sign this is how we select areas we want to exclude from the selection so you can see it's dropping off those little areas that needed to be excluded now this is looking pretty good now down here in this panel we have different ways we can look at it. We can look at the alpha channel, okay? We can look at the selection, or we can look at the background uh, mat, okay? So uh, that's just some options you have for different ways you can you can talk, change the opacity and color of the mat, of course. Uh, but we're going to look at this uh, the selection, and if you come up to the Redder Brush tool icon and click on it, hold and drop down, you'll see there's also underneath the Redder Brush tool a Refine Edge tool. The Refine Edge tool just simply lets us get into some of these uh, rougher areas and uh, refine our edges. So I'm going to go do this around all the edges. Uh, obviously the hair can a lot of times be problematic. I'm going to do it around the entire selection. And then we have some controls over here that allow us to smooth and feather the selection uh, just by increasing uh, the smoothness and the feathering we can get a little bit better with our edges okay so there we have them selected and our first frame is complete but now we have all these other frames down here and as he starts to move a bit uh, and his head moves and he's changing his facial gesticulation obviously uh, it's going to change what needs to be selected. Down here you'll see a little bar. This is how far out After Effects is going to render our selection. So I'm going to go ahead and go out to about 8 seconds. Uh, just a short clip. Now we're going to go frame by frame using the page up and page down keys and just keep your eye on the selection and make sure that frame by frame uh, we're keeping pink line around what we want and not anything that we don't want. And the reason you need to go frame by frame is because if there's an issue uh, in one frame, every subsequent frame is going to have the issue. So it really uh, is in your best interest to just use the page down key, click forward frame by frame until you see any issues with the selection. So far we're looking pretty good. So as we've gone, we haven't really encountered any problems. If we had problems, we could just obviously go in and refine the selection lines using the Redder Brush tool and uh, make sure that everything was staying within the selection tool. But everything's looking pretty good as we go down to the eight second mark here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead now, and over here you'll see this little button here, Freeze. That's going to render the selection, all 241 frames that we've used 
this is going to render and it's going to render your rotor brush and refine edge selections and import it into the composition. Okay, so now that that's done rendering, we just hop back over to our composition edit window and we'll see we have, just like green screen footage, separated the subject matter from the background of the video. I'm going to add this cool purple particle looping background and now we can kind of take a look at the effect. Here we go. There you have it, folks. So that's how you use the rotor brush tool to separate a subject matter from its background, just like you would green screen footage. Now using this rotoscope effect, there's a lot of visual options you have. Uh, obviously you can come in and use the normal transform controls to make him bigger or smaller. Uh, you can create him, make him into a 3D layer and reposition him on the X, Y, Z axis. Uh, and you can have a lot of fun using the Rotobrush tool to create cool new video effects.